Hey y'all, so we've pulled the uh, John Deere former backhoe back out of the mothballs. I had it down in the backyard. Uh, been really too hot to mess with it, but uh, we've had a few days off, so we decided to uh, jump into it a little bit again. And um, these uh, these hydraulic lines here, these steel lines that are up here. Um, there's three of them here, and there's one of them still got to go back. Um, have been the major issue because it sat so long. You know, it sat for over two years uh, on a guy's trailer. Because it sat so long, you know, a lot of the fittings look like this. You know, just rusted through, worn out the hoses, all of that. So uh, we're changing some of that stuff. Trying to get the battery charged up now to test what we've got, and uh, then uh, we're gonna. You can see where we've been experimenting with some paint colors and trying to decide if we want to go with the John Deere yellow or John Deere green since it's not a industrial backhoe anymore. It's actually considered uh, going to be considered a tractor. We're going to set up a three-point hitch on the back of it and uh, just make a tractor out of it. Use the bucket for some of our demo jobs and cleanups and some of that stuff. It just makes things a lot simpler, but... Uh, we're going to get her to work, and the engine runs perfectly, just trying to get the battery charged up now. Um, you know, the the engine just runs like a dream, and uh, so we're going to we're gonna work on it a little bit, and see where we've experimented with the paint over here, and got some green on it, and uh, really liking the green. I've already got the paint purchased, but uh, like I said, we're going to get the battery charged up, and test out these lines, and make sure that everything's working properly um, once we get the hydraulics working then uh, then we're pretty well good to go so uh, you can see back here where you know we took torch and cut everything off and um, but it's a it's a early 80s model uh, John Deere 300 B uh, like I said, it was an industrial backhoe, but uh, everything works good. We've made it move back and forth. We've, you know, had the bucket up and down. Everything seems to work good. Um, all the rest of this, the outriggers, all that's going to be cut off. These cylinders back here, all that's going to go, and uh, we're going we're gonna to put her to use. Y'all have a good day, and the uh, next picture you see hopefully is uh, going to be either before or after on the paint job. Thanks.